Hi guys, welcome to another collection video. Uh, basically an unboxing video for this one. Um, I got a parcel in, <clears throat> something that, I know what it is. Uh, it's something I didn't think I was going to get because, to be honest with you, um, I've got the best version of this particular figure anyway. But it's not, uh, normally I buy Hot Toys, you know me, and I buy one six sale Hot Toys, I'm, I'm, I just prefer Hot Toys. Um, and maybe I get the odd statue or something like that. But sometimes I buy Diamond Select or NECA, depending on what the, the um, you know, the figure is, if it tickles my, my fancy. So, this is a NECA figure. <coughs> and, um, I'll, just, I'll talk a bit more about it once I open the box. So, without further ado, I'll just get right in here and open the package. And, uh, Order these things that they wrap on. Really and this has been wrapped as well. And um, the seller has given me this. Um, <clears throat> now, this is something. Oh my goodness. Nah, actually, this will be pretty good. Now, this is something that um, I wanted ever since I was a wee boy. Uh, and it's something, and this, especially in this inch, a seven inch figure. We never ever got it. I never got it. Um, it's the uh, Christopher Reeve Superman uh, Necker figure. I've always wanted a 7 inch Christopher Reeve uh, Necker figure. I never ever got it when I was growing up. It's something I think a lot of collectors, um, especially the love Superman, Christopher Reeve Superman, they grew up with that. That was our Superman. We never got it. Um, it's a figure that we've always wanted, especially in this size, this scale, um, the average size figure. Uh, that statue we got in 2010 was just like the next best thing we got. And I, when I seen that, I was like, wow. And the, that, basically that statue is the reason I got any kind of collecting statues. Um, when I seen that statue, I think it was the 75th anniversary of DC. Uh, Christopher Reeve statue. That's what got me into start collecting the bigger, you know, the bigger statues and more expensive um, collectibles. Then Hot Toys. I mean, the whole reason I got into collecting Hot Toys that was my first Hot Toys, the Christopher Reeve Hot Toy, and I thought, wow, they'll, they'll never, they'll never top that, and that, that's going to be like the only figure that I'm going to get a Christopher Reeve. And Neca surprises. Now I haven't got the. Um, in fact, to be honest, before that, we got the premium format, I think 2014, uh, Comic Con, the premium format. I haven't got that yet. I do want to get that premium format in my collection. Um, it is another Christopher Reeve, uh, you know, figure that I would like to get. Um, and okay, it does, it's not exactly spot on, um, but I'd like to have all these different versions. Now that I've got this, looking at this, I'm kind of sorely tempted thinking about picking up the uh, quarter scale. Ah, uh, Christopher Reeve Superman. Um, just have all the different kind of versions. Uh, I mean, uh, this. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get open it and get out of the box, guys. Um, and uh, and and then I can talk a bit more about it. But just looking at it through the box, and it's a great packaging. The box is great. Um, you know, it's and it's perfect because like, you can keep a hold of this box. Like if you watched my last videos, probably like a week ago, um, I opened up the uh, Ripley Mecha figures. Once I cut them, once I cut the boxes, I mean, I mean you can keep the box, 
uh, but it, you can never really seal it again and just put it on a table and give it to somebody else if you're going to sell it in the future and kind of keep the box in a perfect condition. I love what um, NECA did here with this box especially. I wish they'd done it with the Michael Keaton Batman one but we got the uh, the game version instead with, with better box. I think it's something that was a miss. Um, but, you know, and that Michael Keaton Batman quarter scale is hard to get. I can't even get it online. I can't even... It's going up price. The price for that's going insane. And there's something that I, I quite missed out. And it's, it's a pity because I quite like the Penguin version of that. And it's been something I've been thinking about getting. But now that I've got this, I may actually pick up the quarter scale Christopher Reeve Superman. That may get hard to get. Um, just, just in... I mean, I'll always think that the the head sculpt on the um, you know the one in Hot Toys will never be. I think that's the best Christopher Reeve head sculpt. But you know, I don't think that Neca do that bad either. Anyway, guys, enough blabbering. I'm going to open it up and let you guys see it. Okay. Now, out of the packaging, he looks great. Um, one thing to warn you, I just pulled mine out and the leg fell off. This leg here. Um, so, I've heard about people pulling out their Batmans, the Keaton Batman that they got with the free DVD in America. Um, or the free Blu-ray, sorry. They, they let their leg or their arm was just popping off. Uh, I don't know why that is. Um, but, you know, I think at the end of the day you can pop it back in depending on how bad it is. Uh, oh, let's have a look at the back for you. It does have that great iconic S in the cape. One thing you notice that the uh, thing about the, the Hot Toys version is the cape is a lot better than this material they're using here. Um, I know it's just because it's 7 inch. I would, I've heard people say that the quarter scale one is a lot better with the cape that they used and the material they used for that. Um, probably because it's a bigger figure. It's a bit easier to probably attach the cape, but I mean, he doesn't have this horrible bit here that's on the back where you can see the bit of his, his uniform. Always the cape seems to be, you know, the Hot Toys got it right, the cape's all tucked in at the back. But you know, it's a, a minor detail for such a, a figure. I think the cape would fall away through time. If you kept touching the cape, it might tear, it might come off pretty easily. So. I mean, he is, at the end of the day, just a figure that would be put in the box and or probably kept on the shelf. Or, but, to be honest with you, NECA's done it again. I mean, NECA do not bad figures. Um, I mean, it's you can tell who it is. Again, it's like the um, Helen Ripley figure that I was, figures that I was showing you in the last video, my last unboxing. You know, you know, you know how it, you know who it is. I've always said that Hot Toys do does a better job. There's head sculpts and the stuff like that, and even though I feel that the S on this figure is a bit better than the Hot Toys S, just the way it's shaped and I don't know something about the S uh, look of that S than there is in the Hot Toys, which makes it. I mean, he feels materials quite good. Um, yeah, it's it's just a really nice looking figure. It's something I wish I had when I was a young, a small boy. But again, I wasn't going to go for him. I got him at a reasonable price. Uh, um, <clears throat> and that's why I got him. I mean, pretty good price, actually. I could not believe it. But I had to get, it took a couple of weeks to come over. It got shipped um, to get it really cheap. And at the end of the day, it only comes with two sets of hands. Stretched out hands. So that's what only comes with in terms of accessories. So, yeah, guys. Um... Let me know in the comments what do you think of this figure, have you got it, do you, do you want to go for it? I'll always get back to you, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Support the collection, the collector's community, if you're a collector yourself, you understand. Um, no, I, I, I'm actually considering maybe going for the quarter scale one. Um, I'd love to get the Christopher Reeve Premium Format and maybe one day I'll do a side comparison of the statue, the hot toys, the normal and evil version. Um, this, this um, if I get the quarter scale and if I get the premium format so I think that would be pretty good I think it would be a, a good goal to go for to get all the different kind of Christopher Reeves um, I'd like to get the Keaton but I think the, the, the you know the 
NECA version, the big quarter scale NECA version is hard to find at a reasonable price, going for insane amounts of prices. So I don't think that the Christopher Reeve Superman is going to be too long and far behind it. So if you can get a hold of this bad boy, if you're a Christopher Reeve fan, I suggest that you get it, even if you've got the Hot Toys version, even if you've got the statues, you've got all these different versions. I